Ron Harris here for Muscular Development, our coverage of the 2019 New York Pro, brought to you by High Tech Pharmaceuticals. I'm here with 212 star Ricardo Rude Boy Correa from, I don't know where he's from now. That's where I'm going to start with. A couple of years ago, I knew he was living in the UK, originally from Portugal, but where have you been? You've been all over the place this past couple of years, Ricardo. Then what can I say, Ron? I'm like a black gypsy at the moment. <laughs> Yeah, basically, I moved to, from UK to uh, Dubai, as I was in Dubai for nearly two years. But big surprise coming along, as we're going to speak anyway. But one of them, uh, I'm, I already got everything sorted to move to Brazil in July. So as you guys know, I'm black, so I can't take the call. Have you been to Brazil before? Um, I just come back from there. I was in Brazil for the past four weeks as uh, I did a muscle contest. Uh, T uh, tamer, tamer, tamer uh, contest. I come second in the 212 class, okay. and uh, I really got the energy and the passion with the crowd. And everyone knows me. Um, I like to be a crowd pleaser. So I had a, a really good show out there. I was excited, and I get on with the with the Brazilians. I speak Portuguese anyway, so it was pretty easy to me to get to get into into the the place. Well, let me ask about Dubai, because I know everyone talks about Kuwait. What's the bodybuilding scene like in Dubai? Is that similar? Do they have those crazy big gyms, and do they have teams and everything competing? Yeah, as you guys know, in the Middle East, uh, it, the, the fitness is growing really, really fast. So basically, the gym I train in Dubai is called Binus. Um, the guy is like a godfather of Dubai. Basically, got a godfather in Kuwait, Beta, and you got a godfather in Dubai. He's called Anis. So the guy he was taking care, he does taking care of all the bodybuilders in Dubai, and he has a gym. I could say is exactly the same as Oxygen Gym. He's unreal and he's keeping bring more stuff in. I want to give the props to this guy because what he does in bodybuilding, and he doesn't even want to take any credit of it. He's just humble doing it. I've never heard of him, so yeah, he's not. He's definitely not looking for credit. Yeah, he's absolutely. And he's if you're watching this. Thanks to you, Godfather, man. Does everybody get a Lamborghini? Uh, he comes off get some. I'll be honest with you. Um, is what can I go? The people really has money in Dubai. Yeah. They don't really show it. It's actually the broke ass always try to come out mm. and try to prove a point. Yeah. As I always say, it's like bodybuilding. If you're good at uh, uh, what you're doing, you don't need to come out and be loud and tell everyone, oh, yeah, I'm a, I'm a Mr. Olympia or, or I'm an Olympian. You just do your job. Let people credit you for what you do. Don't start fishing or try to get people to stroke your ego. Just be you, give to the sport, be humble, be nice, inspire, and be crazy like Root Boy. <laughs> so, so, Ricardo, you were uh, ninth place in the Olympia last year. You, you could have been higher. You know, your physique... Your physique is a top five physique. There's no doubt about it. So what did you do after the Olympia to try to make the improvements so that this season you're going to get the recognition you deserve? Okay, going there, um, I believe I'm a, I will stop now. I'm, I'm very critique about myself. Um, I could be harder. I could be leaner. I could be better. But I had issues that I had my, my surgery. So I literally prepped for seven weeks. Surgery, back up. What happened? Yeah. Um, you know, um, I had the uh, retinas attached. Retinas. Yeah. Oh, so how'd that happen? Yeah, oh, naturally gone. But all my family suffers from uh, eye vision, Jeez. so we all is, our sight is really, really bad. So it was all a matter of time. So end up happened to me at eleven weeks, if I'm not wrong, to the Olympia. Mm -hmm. So after the surgery, I couldn't really train. So I had to recover from it. And I had to actually risk it and prep for the Olympia because I had gas, a long gas in my eye. So I was like, there's no way I'm not going to go to the Olympia. I thought God gave me a, a test. If I was going through that test and I pass it on, um, my life is going to get better from there. And just to step on that stage was already a blessing. And a lot more come with it because uh, I signed up with the new trend uh, suppl supplements. Uh, he's a Czech Republic company. Is that the hat, Horsepower? Is that their product? Uh, no, the Horsepower is uh, actually a YouTuber. Oh, okay. And he's from Brazil, as you guys see. Hugo, se tiver a ver, é para ti. 
Hugo. Hugo. Um, I said to him, because he, since I went to Brazil, he, 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 he put a lot of things out there in the social media, um, lifting a lot of bodybuilding up. He doesn't come in with the negativity, he's all positive and try to lift the bodybuilding. So I thought, you know what? You deserve the credits when I do the interview, yeah. wear your brand. So that's what I'm doing. As I'm doing as well, Black, Black Monsters. Monsters BBM. So he's, he's my agent as bodybuilding, never happened in bodybuilding. As you like football as I do. Yeah. Uh, soccer. I, don't, I, don't. Uh, ah! <laughs> I was trying to get you. I'm going to get you my club. Um, so this guy is trying to change. His name is Ciro. He's trying to change the bodybuilding. I have someone to represent bodybuilding. When he's any kind of negotiation of um, sponsorship, he's the one gets put his face out there. Because for us, it's just hard just about be consistent, dieting, you know, is a routine as you did bodybuilding and takes a lot out. For us to see in front of someone and negotiate is a, is a tough job. And everything you say, if let's say I say no, I'm always the one looks bad and I'm rude and I got attitude. So if you got someone with, a, with school and uh, is very smart, is very educated and is there to negotiate you, they will see everything differently. So they have for footballers. So these guys doing for bodybuilding now as a BBM Black Monsters. Okay. So I'm very excited to work with this guy as he's getting me some amazing deals. And he's the reason I'm moving to, even Lex Los Angeles is the reason I'm moving to Brazil. I was gonna say, it's, it's a, that's a big move. I mean. <laughs> it's a big move, but as I say, he's like, I spoke to a lot of friends and I said, I wouldn't do a move like that if I wasn't sure which people I'm hanging out with and they become my family and we've been speaking for over seven months but we met four weeks ago and I felt like uh, I literally grew up with them so you know physique wise what improvements have you been really working on is it just condition because you, you look great but to me you always look like this you, you but you do look a little rounder and fuller than I think I ever remember you well, let's go to the spa. I got a new training partner, yeah. as you probably know him. Rafael Brando? Uh, yeah. I can't, I can't, you know, I love the guy. As I always said, he's going to be a Mr. Olympia, no doubt about it. As a 25 years old. Oh, it he, is Rafael Brando. No. Oh, okay. So my new training partner is uh, the technician, Chris Aceto. <laughs> so I've been working with Chris for the past 10 weeks, actually make 10 weeks this week. And what Chris done to my physique in 10 weeks, the only thing comes to my mind, what can he do in a year? So I always, it's like an investment. I don't put the money, try to get the, the return tomorrow. So my investment is if I work with the best now and improve my, the, my physique in a short period of time, if I give him another 12 months, how better can I get? So bodybuilding is about making improvements, stay healthy, and inspire people. And I want to inspire people the best way, staying healthy, have fun, carry on being crazy, carry on being rude boy, carry on being me, no tricks, no BS in the social media. Every time people will come up to me, I'll have time for them. I'll make sure I'm going to give all the energy I got to, to take them where... I couldn't get when I first started bodybuilding. So final question. You're obviously going to be at the Olympia this year. That's the goal. You're going to qualify and be at the Olympia. You know, we got Flex Lewis is gone. He's moved on. Jose Raymond's gone. It's time for, this is, a, this is an era. We're going to see a lot of new guys really rising up, taking the top spots. It's going to be a new generation. And you're poised to be, you're already considered one of these guys that's, that's stepping into those spots of the, the next generation of 212 champions, the top stars. Um, I mean, are you excited about it? Because I think I, I would be pretty excited if I was in your position right now. This is one of the reasons I decided to do New York. Do you want to be among the best? You got to be the best. I always say the biggest the show, the biggest the win. Yeah. So I could do any easier show. Why New York? So as for the top bodybuilders, come to New York. After Olympia, New York, or Arnold Classic. 
So Arnold Classy was a non this year. I'm pretty sad about it because it was one of the shows uh, I'm willing to do. What's the next one before Olympia? New York. No bigger show than Steve Weinberg show. Yeah. So the biggest name comes here. As you guys know, Eduardo is in, Noel is in, um, Ashkenan is in. Oh, yeah. Guy, Guy Sisternino, I believe, is in too, isn't he? Um, I didn't see him in the list, but even my name is not in the list. So he's, he might want to do a surprise like Rude Boy. So he's actually, he's better, he's better at doing it. Uh, hopefully Guy's doing it. He's a really guy, he's a really nice guy and one of the truly guys in the sport. And why not go against these guys? I want to go for the win. I didn't, I didn't hide at all from anyone. You know, everyone that has their own strengths, has their own weakness. But I believe with the improvements I made, I'm going to stand next to them and make sure I make them look bad tomorrow to make sure I come out with a win. <laughs> See, that's confidence. You have to be confident. Yeah, because, you know, it's not arrogance. It's, there's only one winner. It's not, a, it's not a team sport. No. If someone else wins, that means he doesn't win. If he wins, someone else doesn't win. So Absolutely. everybody's there to win. Or else why did you bother showing up? And you know, we make, we make so many sacrifices. I love my burgers and pizzas. So to get to this stage, and I'm like, I give my all, and it's not, as you said, it's not individual sport because I've got a lot of people behind me, uh, pushing me every day, helping me out every day. All the friends are going to Dubai, all the friends are going to Brazil, in Portugal, Cape Verde. I'm getting support daily, and for me, I don't want to let even my family, I don't want to let them down by not putting 100%. Mm -hmm. If I'm putting 100%, whatever comes in that day, I know I'll come out as a champion because there's no more I could do. But my intention is always to win. I don't train, I don't prep to step on stage to be second best. I'm never going to do that. I give the credits to anyone beats me, but I'm not that to get beat. No, I'm not going to come and say I'm a good loser. No, I'm a bad loser, but I'm respectful. Because at the end of the day, the only way I'm going to improve and get better is to chase everyone and try to beat everyone. If you're not in a game, that's why it's called competition. Mm. If you're not in a game to win, get off, because you're a loser. Because you're already doubting yourself before anyone. Let the people doubt. Let the social media, uh, uh, like, basically choose their own favors, uh, predict the winners, but it's our job to step there and put a hell of a show, give uh, the Yankees tomorrow a good show because they're gonna love it. And New York, we're gonna put some love on that stage. Either the classic physique, either the men's physique, either the open bodybuilding and the 212s. We're gonna give a hell of a show tomorrow. You bet on that. It is going to be a hell of a show. I'm glad you jumped into it. Uh, the 212 lineup is crazy. It's almost like an Olympia lineup uh, with guys like you, Ahmad, Eduardo coming back. It's going to be an awesome 212. Open is going to be great, classic. All the coverage is going to be here, musculadevelopment.com. We're going to have videos, interviews, uh, posing routines, all kinds of coverage, play-by-play. -play. You can comment, critique, argue, whatever you want to do. Check out all the pictures. And check out Ricardo tomorrow on stage. Ricardo, obrigado for obrigado. the time. Appreciate let, it. Let's just leave a message. Hey, Jal Thomas, Tiger, we're watching you. <laughs> See, Giles? He didn't forget about you. All right, so that's it. New York Pro 2019 tomorrow. Coverage brought to you by High Tech Pharmaceuticals. MusculoDevelopment.com. See you tomorrow.